So this is a semi-follow-up to a vlog, a pre-show vlog that I did regarding the Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view from last night. And I figure, uh, you know, just for a lark, we do a quick recap. Nothing special. I didn't actually get to see the pay-per-view. You know, I had st other stuff going on too, but I might catch the replay or maybe, you know, wait till the DVD comes out because it seems like a pretty... I mean, seriously, check out some of these results. The SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. Winner of that match, Daniel Bryan. That's a shocker right off the bat. To think a year ago, he actually was shit-canned for choking some guy with a tie. And wow, it's, uh, yeah, from what I heard, the match was alright, actually. And apparently Sin Cara was uh, actually suspended for a wellness violation. <laughs> According to the WWE.com website. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's why they had that injury angle that took place, apparently. Uh, what else is there? The uh, the Divas Championship match, aka the Piss Break match. Somehow I knew that you know that match was going on because coincidentally enough, my friend was telling me, you know, did you see the the, uh, the ladder match? Yeah, what's going on now? He said uh, it's they're having a Divas title match, the Piss Break match. I told him, really? I'm in the can right now. So <laughs> uh, anyone interested, Kelly Kelly retains. Who cares? Uh, Mark Henry versus Big Show. Mark Henry wins it. Um, Raw Money in the Bank ladder match. Alberto Del Rio wins it. No big surprise there. Uh, Christian winning the world title through uh, DQ. Apparently, uh, the way the way it worked. Apparently, Christian pissed off Orton, and uh, Orton kicked him in the balls, and uh, Orton got DQ. Christian's the world champion. You know, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't thrilled, I'm not thrilled with a, a world title changing hands on a DQ, but uh, I'm guessing within the context of the uh, storyline, it sort of works. Just based on what, from what I read online, uh, Christian, you know, using uh, Orton's uh, rage and anger against him, and uh, ended up, Orton, ended up the anger costing Orton the title rather than anything Christian has done. I might have to, well, I have to, might have to see for myself, but uh, makes for an interesting storyline at least. That uh, you know, it was Orton's own uh, rage that did him in. Then there was a punk. Everybody, <laughs> there was a punk. <laughs> well, I sort of gave that away, but then there was a match that everybody you know, was talking about, and pretty much the whole basis of my rant uh, yesterday. But uh, I think like the most significant thing to come out of this was that they actually had CM Punk win the match, and not only that. Uh, when Del Rio attempted to uh, run in to cash in his title shot, he actually kicked him across the skull and went through the crowd, went away, and you had, now you have a nice little Twitter picture of the uh, WWE Championship in CM Punk's fridge. <laughs> or maybe it was a freezer, I don't know. <laughs> Probably the fridge. It would have been funny if they kept it. You kept, I win the championship, I'm going to defend it all over the place, but first I'm going to keep it cool, nice and cool in the fridge where it belongs. <laughs> You know, it could have been worse. You could have tossed it into an incinerator or something. But uh, uh, even apparently that match was actually pretty d good. You know, not just for the drama, but also Cena actually brought his uh, A game in, which is a uh, rarity in itself. So right off the bat, just from what from what I've read so far, this is actually a pretty good show. And uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go look for some crow to eat, and then I'm gonna see if I could catch the replay. And if it's past my uh, price point, or, uh, you know, if I can't find a time, I'll probably just wait for the DVD. It'll probably be one of the few DVDs that I, don't, that I will be picking up that isn't a WrestleMania or a Royal Rumble, even, or any of the major pay-per-views, but because this is a pay-per-view, this is actually one of the pay-per-view, Money in the Bank is one of those pay-per-views that you usually just write off, it's just a gimmick pay-per-view, nothing really happens from it, but man, they really built this up. I think they did a better job with this pay-per-view just from what I, just from the reading of it, from what I read on online and from the you know, the recaps, I think they did a better job with this pay per view than they did WrestleMania. But I had to, I'd have to see for myself. But uh, just by reading it, I think it's already, a, it has. I think it, you know people are saying that's a great pay per view, and I you know, I, you know what? I'm tempted to watch it now. I might get the replay even, or I'll wait for the DVD. But in any case, they actually you know it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, tonight. Chances are they might have Del Rio, you know, Punk is supposed to be advertised to show up, and hopefully, 
you know, they might actually might, it's just going to stay behind or do like a dark match or something or like a final promo or something. Not, nothing, not the usual shit where he just shows up and mocks the crowd and then Del Rio cashes in and wins the title because that'd be like too, I mean, it's like, you know, I was sort of like, um, it's what I said before, you know, the other day, I wasn't expecting much out of this and this blew away anything that I thought. I thought they were going to go with a clean Cena win or some screw job. And they, they attempted the screw job, but Cena said, no, what happened? He, he lost the belt. And then he attempted to cash in, lost that. <laughs> so I didn't see the whole, I didn't see the pay-per-view. I saw a couple of clips online and I thought, you know, wow. Like just, just listening to that reaction from a tiny screen of somebody taping the, the pay-per-view off the TV. And it's like, you know, that reaction was amazing. So, yeah, I might actually chase down this pay-per-view. It's probably one of the few pay-per-views that I'm actually interested in watching, but I didn't get the chance to watch it because, like I said, I had other things going on last night. But, you know, I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. They actually did... They actually had a promo built up. They had, actually had like a, a feud, like an angle built up, and it was actually done the right way instead of like botching it, which is what they did with the Nexus angle last year. Of course, there's a chance they might botch it tonight, but still, you know, for for one light, for one night at least, all was right in the world. And I'll uh, end it right there. Later tonight, I'll probably add another review on it, and then I'll stay silent until, unless they botch it tonight. But we'll see. Good night.